networking. <sighs> networking in LA. It's like speed dating. But I don't like it. I don't like it. Then again, I never speed it. So probably that's why I don't like it. Networking in LA is just can be weird, man. Or maybe I'm just not used to it. That you have an old event called networking event. Yeah, maybe I'm just not used to it. You know? Maybe it works better when <clears throat> you're already known and then you go to a networking event and somebody's like, yo, I want to work with you. And you know it's going to happen. You know what I mean? At these times, like when you go to other networking event, it feels like people just there to, to give you their business card. Just to give you the business card, basically, you know, and to tell you about themselves and what they do, which I guess that's what it's about. I don't know, I don't like that. When I like it, um, I was talking to a bridge the other day about networking. And I tell him, I know, well, before I get to that, I remember when I came here in 2022, and I, you know, my friend, Erman Baradi, he keeps a lot of networking events. And, you know, the, the it's coming around Christmas, time so there's a lot of events christmas events and stuff or other events but they have networking events and i remember i just go to these and i'm just like it's, it's just people giving out their cards or somebody <laughs> somebody come up to you and they're like oh you're in the music industry I'm like, no, I'm a filmmaker. And then they go, oh. You could see all the interests fall from them. And then they go, cool. They say they have nothing to talk about. Nothing to really, you know, relate on. And then they just, just they would just, sometimes they would just, cool. And they just turn and walk away. And it's like, aren't we humans? Do we need to do we need to do the same thing to network? To connect. Right? We don't because like an up and coming director needs an artist that he could do music videos for. He could meet the artist. You know? Or the producer of the artist. And same thing, the cinematographer could meet an artist and he's like, yo, I want, I want to direct, I want to DP that video. So, I'm going to link my director bridge in and have him come up with something and I hit you back. It's all networking. You just set, you just set them up with your director bridge in. And it, the, the, you know, the cookie just crumble, but here it's... It can be weird sometimes, like if you're not in my industry, it's like I don't really need to talk to you or network with you. So, and then there's one part, one part where I met my new, met my mentor again and I, he was introducing me to a lot of people, you know, and at some point, you just you just feel like it, you you you're selling out yourself, like you're worrying out yourself just because you want to talk to people, because you know people introduce you to them and da 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 da. 
and sometimes you're just not really into it like you don't really connect with them or you're not connecting because as i say the more you just want to tell you what they do show you the business give you the business card and da 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 see something you just feel like you're selling out yourself you know so i was talking to someone i call the logical woman in jamaica and you know, she was saying, by text, she was saying, just take it in, you know what I mean? And just look at it a different way. Don't look at it as selling out yourself and whoring out yourself, basically, verbally. Like, just take it as, you know, as it comes, just talk to people, get to know them. Used in a wise way. I'm like, ah, cool. <sighs> and you, you try a little more. You try. I try. And I do it. But the thing is, I've now changed my style of networking. So this is where you come back to talking to my bridging. And I'm talking to my bridging, Dan, also a DP. Actually, I met him recently, you know, and him just, we, we click, we like him, him energy, cool, you know. I'm talking to Dan and talking about networking and <sighs> keeping up with people and stuff. And I tell him, I we're talking about how weird it is here because you meet somebody and they will ghost you. And you're like, bruv, aren't we all professionals? Like, why are people ghosting people? If I'm trying to connect with you, why are you ghosting me? Especially never even give me contact in the first place. So we, we started from that until I just, my new technique of, of um, networking is, I treat it like going to the club. Yeah. I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. It's, I have a friend, as I say, Herman, that keeps these things. And when I go to his networkings now, I just go there for him. I just go there to support him, you know? And you go there to support him. And then, you know, there's people and there's drinks and so on. Especially if it's kept in a club that the networking event starts, say, eight o'clock, and then it goes on until the club open. And then you basically get grandfathered into the club. I like that because, you know, it's a two for one. But I go there, you know, just drink something, depending if I'm driving. Cause when I'm driving, I don't drink. But I'm not driving. I drink something and chill. And then people come, I talk to them. Or if I see somebody, I talk to them. Just normally. Not to to get their business card. I'm just like normally talking to people. Like simple. So just keep, let's just treat it like a club. So it depends on your, what's it? Um your confidence are, you know, how you stay as a person. Like, I can simply talk to people a lot of the time. Just easily talk to people, you know, naturally. So, if you have that skill, you can just talk to people. Woman, man, whatever it is. Use that skill, just go talk to people or see what, they talk, see what they're doing or if they're around you, you know, you talk to them, whatever it is. Or sometimes, listen man, sometimes you just see some people and you're like, yo, I want to talk to that person. Eh? I don't know what that person is doing, but I want to talk to that person. Or that person looks familiar. Let me go say hi to them. Right? Whatever it is. Use, a, use a, that thing there and link up with people. So that's what I do now. And I treat it that way and I meet people and talk to them. I usually um, 
like to to meet people on a personal level like no matter if you were Mariah Carey whoever you want to be famous I don't care I like to meet people on a personal level so when I see you when I meet you I just want to say hi first thing I would say like I saw Ever Duvernay right and I'm just like yo nice to meet you in real life Boom, that's it. I don't say nothing else. Now, if I see her in another settings, I'll talk to her like naturally. But anytime I meet or see somebody that is famous or someone, I usually go to them. Nice to meet you in real life. You know what I mean? I get to talk to you some more if I see you again. I'm not gonna fan mode. You know what I mean? But usually, it's. I go up, I talk to you, say hi, boom, boom, meet you naturally, you know, talk to you naturally. If I see you start trying to sell me on things, it turned me off. I have a really good friend now that I met at an event and I, he had his camera, he had, yeah, he had his camera with him that night and I saw him with the camera. And, you know, immediately, I was just like, ah, somebody that brings their camera to an event. It's just like, he's going to be talking about his camera with everybody. Da, 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 da. He actually didn't do that. But, you know, I didn't, I wasn't interested in talking to him because he had his camera and he just... You know, I feel like he just brought his camera to the event just because he just want to show off and use it as a way to talk. And he just, he just turned me away. And it's crazy. I went to, I went to an event at Atlas, Atlas Lens Company. And then I saw him there with my brethren that I met at another event. And I say, yo, what's up, man? And then, my virgin invited me to help him to shoot on something with less lenses. And then me and the same virgin again was on that shoot. And then from that shoot, we had like a conversation and then we realized like, yo, we're gonna be good virgins. And now we're like good virgins. And he still cussed me to this day that, yeah, I didn't talk to him or give a damn because he had his gear on him or because that, but then he tell me, which I always cuss him for, reason why he had his gear on him. He had his camera, he was at the event and he didn't want to leave it in his car. And then I go, oh, my bad, he didn't know. But to this day, I still cuss him and tell him don't leave anything in his car. So he did the right thing, even though I almost not talked to you for the right thing. So I try to meet people on a personal level you know, just meet them, chat to them, talk to them. And I, I'm a bit honest, man. I go to a lot of these networking events and people, as I said, people are selling you on their card, trying to give you their card and all these things. And what I start doing is I will talk to you, try to meet you on a personal level, try to, you know, boom, bang, and if I really click with you, I give you my information. If I do not click with you, if I feel like I'm not clicking, or if I feel like you're just selling me on something, I don't give you my information. Because I don't have a business card. And the reason why I don't have a business card, I use a business card, the reason why I don't have a business card is because it's not a way to just, here, here. Here's a business card, here's a business card. Because that's all you will end up doing. Here's my business, here's my... And it's a good thing you can show or you could find. I have an old stack of business card from people. But that doesn't make me connect with you because I just remember your business card. I just see your business card. When I talk to you, you remember who I am. Tall, Rasta, Jamaican, youth. 
you will remember who I am. When we have a connection or something, and when you send me a message, or when we exchange information and I send you a message, and I go, yo, it was lovely meeting you tonight, man. Love your energy. Thank you so much. Let's link up again. Let's have some smoothie or some orange juice or some water because I don't drink coffee. Let's, let's go out. Let's go do something fun or something. Let's go watch a movie or something. I believe those relationships last longer. It's better. We don't end up being associates. We end up being friends, bridges. You understand? So if there's an issue or there's something, we can talk more directly than we're, we're associates. So I end up not seeing or hearing, hearing from you again because something happened on a job or vice versa. You do something and I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not mess with that person again. So I'm not link him. I'm not link her. You know what I mean? It's, it's more personal so you can go, all right. You talk to your friend after the thing and go, yo, this is what happened. And I don't like how oh, that happened or oh, you did that or or you say, or they say to you that, you know, whatever it is, but you can communicate. I like that kind of relationship. And for me, that's networking. I believe that's, it's not, that's my form of networking. Can be the best form, it could be the worst form, but that's my form of networking. Anything else, you just, I feel like I'm selling myself. Or just collecting business cards, you know. And this, 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 this part of the world, networking make make it go around. You know what I mean? But a lot of the times, people sometimes they just want to give you the card. They just want to give you the info. It goes nowhere. They they don't, you know, keep up with you if you contact them. It, it, it sometimes it goes nowhere. And I believe, I believe I'm just tired of dealing with certain things that go nowhere. It's like, if it's going to go nowhere, it's best to not waste my energy on it. You know? So, yeah. For networking, networking is good. You know? Maybe the direction I'm going about it may bite me in my ass or it may work for me. I feel like it's working for me more than anything though because I meet people on a more personal level. Like I met the DP from from Snowfall TV show. And I was like, when I met him and I'm talking to him, it's just like I'm talking, I'm talking to him like a brother. Like simple, like I'm talking to him like a brother. And that 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 was lovely. And then I get close to him and I'm like, yo bro, I gotta talk to you about that skin tone on Snowfall, man. And I was like, bro, you had that shit on lock. That shit was good. I mean it is good because Snowfall, oh no, Snowfall is done now. But it was good. I love the skin tone. And I can talk to him like boom boom, like I'm not praying to him like when you go to the ASC house and you see all of these ASCs and people come there and they're like they're like around them I don't like the old flocking and things of people and like treating people like they're not human like they're human you meet somebody meet them on a human level like when I met Roger Deakins at Sinigir, him and his wife, I walk up to them and I go, you know, nice to meet you in real life. I love your podcast. Keep doing what you're doing. And they stop and they look at me like, you don't want more? You know why they're thinking that? Because everybody's flocking them. I tell people, if I sit down with Roger Deakins, I will never talk to him about ODD Light, um, Blade Runner 2049 or anything. I'll probably just drink a beer with the man and chill. 
You know what I mean? That's how I believe you build connections. You build network. Like currently, I say I met Ava Duvernay. I met her at John Simmons thing. He's a photographer and a cinematographer, a black cinematographer. And I remember at the end of the show, he said, hey, take a poster. Because he has a poster of an image. And I took the poster. And then people are using the poster to go up to get signatures. And I'm like, I don't want any signatures. I'm right here. I'm with him. I meet him. I, I met him. So, you know, cool. That's enough for me. I love that. And I met, you know, Tommy Maddox, the guy that did the uh, snowfall. And we're here talking like humans. Like, I like that. I'm good with that. I don't need an autograph. And then I gave him an hug and I'm like, yo, rolling out. And then when I was leaving, I'm like, I'm going to text you. You know, tall black Jamaican dude. And then I text him. The next day, he was like, yo, come by my place. And I went to his studio. And I was there with him. Literally, like, he has a hard drive with a bunch of his images from the 60s. That 60s that that he, he wants to print or he has to keep an archive of. And I'm just there. And they weren't coming off of the drive. They weren't copying off. So, you know, I would... I have a tech head too. So I'm there trying to get the files onto the new drive. And I'm just chilling with this man. And I'm not trying to learn, like asking about lighting and lenses and none of that shit. I'm just friggin' just talking, man. And chilling. Go to dinner with him and just chill. Ask him, how does the printer work that he's using to print his, his images out? The, the process, and I see the process. I see him moving, help him around, you know, cutting paper or lining up paper or doing things or doing like just normal things, you know? And I believe that's how you connect with people. And that's that man, man. Ava DuVernay came to his event just to listen to him talk. If you know who that is. You know what I'm saying? You have to just, you know, build more personal connection with people. More personal connection with people. If you don't build a personal connection, you can be forgotten easily in this town. Easily forget, forgotten. And I believe I'll continue on with my process of doing this thing. In certain settings, though, you have to treat it different, you know? But I think I'll carry on in that, in how I'm doing my thing, you know? And yeah, see how it works for me. And then in the same breath, take their, take anyone that I meet, um, you know, take their advice and stuff, you know? Like, for example, John said to me, Take everything that comes to you because you never know where it may lead, which is true, you know. And he also said, you know, there's other photographers that had events, gave out posters, they signed it, and now it's selling for a lot of money online. And then I was just like, 